Project Lead the Way, Axle Peg. So we're going to create an Axle Peg here. This one is a little dicey. Uh, it's really not that hard in the grand scheme of things, but the way they show it is weird. It's also got a couple of neat tricks in it that definitely good to see. So I'm going to do a revolution thing. Um, first things first, it says it's one inch long for the bottom, even though it's not even remotely clear. So I'm going to go up one. Um, I'm going to play it very careful. It says it's a quarter inch diameter. Even though, again, it's not even remotely clear about that. So 0.25 slash 2. And then I will also come up one inch here. So, and it did not want to pick that. Weird. Try again. Okay. Now, at that point, it says it has a diameter 0.422, and it is a bit of a circle, a cylinder, so diameter 0.422, got to divide that by 2, because we're only doing half of it. And then I tried to offset this, but it connected to the other ones. I found that interesting. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to go up from here, making sure it's straight. It says to go up. 0.031, really uh, cutting it close here. Uh, then that's a point. Wonderful. It says we go up 0.125 from here. And then we go over. It says the flat piece has got a Radius of 0.25, a uh, diameter of 0.25, so we'll divide by 2. So, this is tricky. We've got a point right here and a point right here. Uh, I'm going to trim away this while I remember. And we want to put an arc in there. We want the arc to go from here to there, and we want to set that radius. Well, we have a SR spherical radius of 0.236, so... Just put it in there. There it is. That's what it's going to look like. Done with the sketch. Home so we can see it. Revolve and it picks it for me because there's nothing else to revolve in the line. Bang. We got it. So, now an odd little shape. We need to put something in up this end. I'll do that later. Uh, the part that I always found tricky was getting the thread right. And I hit thread earlier. It took half of forever to do it. Um, it's not the full length. We've got an offset of 0.25. I'm going to tab over. And looks like it froze up on me. I'll click face. And you notice that it's saying, well, where do you want the offset? So you move the mouse around to get it. I want it down on the bottom. And before I hit OK or Apply, i got to make sure i got the right one. It doesn't say if this is a right hand, but I'm going to assume it is. It does say it's quarter inch 20 UNC which is a quarter inch, it's an ANSI unified screw thread, so that should do the trick. I just put threads on this thing, even though they really don't look like threads. That's threads. I agree, they don't look like it at all. All right, so now we've got to mess with the back end. That's one I haven't done before, so there's a hexagon in here. I think I can make a polygon if... Uh, I want, and then the six, let's see, it says to select the center of the polygon. There's the center. And then it says to select the point on the polygon. Well, don't have it. So I looked at this, and it says this hex socket is um, 5 30 seconds of an inch across the flats. So you know what? Maybe I should just make a hexagon polygon. That's decent in here want to square it up, you know, it really doesn't matter, so I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. And now uh, this should be 5 slash 30 seconds. Cool. Extrude it in, so we got to go cut it other way. And it says it's 0 .111 deep. So let's see what we got. Yep, just a little hole. So this is a uh, socket wrench. I don't like the way it's showing this. I guess that's fine. 
and that's where you would put the socket to connect it. So change color. Like I said, I'm going for all sorts of uh, steel or tin things here. I wonder if you've got tin. That'd be kind of cool. Steel. Polished. Looks good to me. I keep making up new ones as we go along. Oh, and by the way, I never did say this. So it's been the first thing I say in all, every video. Save as, have a folder. Here's my miniature train project folder. And then label them as clearly as you can. This is part number six. Axle, peg, and always put your name on it. Keep finding flash drives where people don't save their names, and I have no idea who they belong to. That's it. Thank you very much.